Hi, my name is Ashley Watt. I am an agriculture education teacher at Oxford High School in Oxford, Kansas. I am in my ninth year of teaching. Uh, along with teaching, I also coach cross country. I coach junior high track. Uh, part of my ag ed responsibilities, kind of hand in hand, I am the FFA advisor. Uh, so that means a lot of meetings, other coaching responsibilities, and a lot of other things throughout the year and through the summer, such as showing livestock and things like that. Um, I serve on our district calendar committee, wellness committee, um, also the district leadership team, which right now we're working on KISA. Uh, personally, I also serve as our district's career and technical education coordinator, so we are starting to look at pathways, um, getting those maintained and updated for the upcoming year. So it's been a busy couple of weeks, and of course the spring will continue to be very busy. Um, the person that has the most influence, or people that have the most influence on my life, probably, I would think, are my family. Um, I come from a family of not only educators, but also um, farmers. So I was raised in agriculture and around individuals who enjoy teaching others. So it's just kind of guided the way my life goes. I still enjoy being on the farm and um, working with students is definitely a passion of mine too. Um, the results of my personality test, and some of it actually kind of made me laugh because um, I have probably vary quite a bit. My extroversion was, uh, I was scored 58. Um, I'm probably one of those people on a Monday, I'm probably quite an extrovert, and then by Friday I'm definitely more of an introvert, or maybe by 3.30 when school's released, I'm more of an introvert. Uh, emotional stability, that's the one that kind of made me laugh. I got a 39 on it, and uh, of course I tried this in some of the last weeks before uh, Christmas break happened, so I would assume that most educators and administrators' emotional stability is not super high right now. Um, agreeableness, I got a 67 on, and I hope that I'm an agreeable person. I try to be um, open and understanding with everybody and, you know, even saying hi to people in the hallway is something that I pride myself on. So um, conscientiousness, 62%. Uh, so I try to be very aware of things and every that's going on around me. Um, intellect and imagination, I got a 59% on. Um, I enjoy in my spare time being creative and doing photography artwork and things like that, so um, that is something else that I think, uh, for the most part, the leadership personality test results followed along kind of with what I would expect. Um, when I think about the two leadership theories that I clo most closely relate to, uh, democratic definitely would be one of the top ones, I feel like Everybody should have a say in what they're participating in. It's really hard to, you know, I think I've been a member of groups that you start to wonder why you're a member of that group or why you're coming to this meeting because nothing I say or any input I put in doesn't matter anyway. Um, so the democratic system of leadership really shows everybody gets a say, a voice, and yes, in the end, the leader really gets the say in things, um, but I think when you allow people to have input is when you get genuine buy-in and, you know, people start to feel like it's worth their time. Um, another one that I found really interesting was the um, authentic leadership theory, and I try every day with my students to be my genuine self. If I mess up, I'm like, whoops, I messed up. Nope, that's not what I meant. Just yesterday with my eighth graders, I completely bombed helping them with a math problem. And I just straightforward was like, I am not a math person. So let's redo this together. And I think that that theory is really interesting to me because um, you just start to trust people more and build relationships that are genuine and I think you can get really interesting work out of people um, when you start to consider uh, that they trust you more. So I look forward to looking uh, more into both of these series as we go along and to working with all of you. Thanks!